Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to remove the edges out of an existing selection set. Um, this came from an example of something I needed to do at work where I needed to select a series of faces so that the entity info would show me their area in square feet. But it was difficult to go in and just click a single click on each face of my select of my project I was working on. This is a very simplified version of kind of what I was working on. It was hard to do that. So I wanted to be able to just make a quick selection like this and then go through easier and just remove the edges. Because you can see when I have a mixed selection of edges and faces, it doesn't show the square feet. So I thought it would be easiest to just quickly make a, a script that would remove the edges. So what I have here is the model equals SketchUp.ActiveModel and cell equals model.selection. Now this cell is actually a selection object. The cell variable points to a selection object. I also need an array of selected entities. So cell array equals cell dot 2a, which is 2 array. So now I have an array of everything that's selected, which is what all this is down here when I click execute inside that first. So this will show that cell is actually a SketchUp selection object. And when I put that back in, this shows that the selection array is an array of every entity selected. So cell array dot each do e. So now again, this is going to iterate over every single one of these selected entities, or rather all these entities in this array. And I'm going to do something to it. I'm going to do the, se the selection object dot remove e if e is a SketchUp, hmm, let's try and spell that right, edge. So what this does is it removes anything that's every SketchUp edge from the selection set. So click Execute, and you can see that went through and just quickly removed all the edges, and now it shows me the square feet of all these selected faces. And that was essentially all I needed my script to do, and I was able to write that very quickly instead of trying to find a script online that would help me do that. Um, now looking at this code, it's actually a bit more bulky than it needs to be. And I'll just show you how we can turn this into a single line of code. And why would we want a single line of code? Because sometimes the Ruby console can be used to process code, but it only takes a single line of code. So let's see if we can um, simplify this down to a single line of code so it would be able to be used in the Ruby console. So what we can do is this method, if you replace the do and end with these little um, braces here, you can turn that into a single line. Now we also have the cell array. I really don't need to make a separate array here like I've done. All this is doing is cell array equals cell.2a, so I can replace cell array with this, just like that. And that can get rid of that whole line. So now I'm down to three lines of code. So now I really don't even need to use to point to cell like this. What I can do, cell equals model dot selection. Let's just do it like this. SketchUp dot active model dot selection. Now I've got the whole the selection object and written out kind of longhand. So let's replace this code with that and then this one also with that. Now I don't need any of this and it looks like it's two lines but if I pull this out you can see that's all just one big long line of code and I can select that. We'll put that up here and we'll just paste it right here. So now I can select all of this just like this. Hit enter and it'll process that single line of code right here in the Ruby console. So that becomes um, seeing how to simplify little snippets like this into a single line can be helpful if say you're on someone else's workstation and they don't have the web console installed you can just write a single line that you can run from the Ruby console. So yeah, I hope that's helpful to look at the selection set and how to maybe simplify code to run from the console. All right.